Welcome back to TechWare. So Wi-Fi network not being found or not available is quite a common issue, right? Let's fix that today. The first way to do that is to enable and disable your Wi-Fi adapter. To do that, just go to your control panel and then select network and sharing and then change adapter settings. And then now you'll find your Wi-Fi adapter there. So right click on it. Choose disable from the drop down menu and then enable it after a few seconds the same way. Oh, you can also do this from the device manager, by the way. Just search for device manager and then expand the network adapter section and then choose your Wi-Fi adapter there. Right click on it and then choose disable it just like we did before and then enable it after it refreshes. The second way is using Windows Troubleshooter. There's actually a built-in troubleshooter in Windows 11. I know, right? Shocking. So go to start and then settings and then system settings and then choose troubleshoot. Now run the troubleshooter for network and internet. It'll automatically diagnose and fix it. Or it'll give you options that you can use to try and fix it yourself. The third way is to enable Wi-Fi services. So just go to search and then type services, which will open the services app and then scroll down to WWLAN autoconfig and then make sure that it's running. If it's not running, you need to start them so it'll let you use your network adapter. So right click on WLAN auto config and then properties and then choose automatic start type and then start and then now click apply and then OK. Now do the same thing for WLAN auto config like we did just now for WLAN. The fourth way is to reset internet settings. So if you want to do that, just go to control panel, internet options and then choose the advanced tab and then there choose restore advanced settings. So click and apply OK there. That should restore some of the settings that you need for your Wi-Fi adapter. Now go to Connections tab and then choose LAN settings and then make sure Automatically Detect Settings is checked and then click OK. The fifth way is to reinstall or update or roll back driver. So go to your Wi-Fi adapter from Device Manager just like before and then right click and then choose Uninstall Device. FYI, don't check the Attempt to Remove the Driver from Device option. Now, Go to action and then scan for hardware changes. This should rescan the device into your system. Now right click on your Wi-Fi adapter again and then choose update driver and then browse my computer for drivers and then let it choose let me pick from the available drivers in my PC. Oh, also don't forget to tick the show compatible hardware option and then pick the latest or available ones and then one of them will actually work. So go to the Wi-Fi adapter setting again and then now right click again but choose properties instead and then choose a roadmap driver option if it's not grayed out like so. Check your Wi-Fi connection now and if it still persists, let's move on to the next step. The sixth way is to use fixed socket error. So this method uses the command prompt. So just go to search and then search for CMD and then execute the commands like I'm doing here and pause if you have to. First one is netsh winsock reset and then netsh int ip reset. Now, most of the sub-interface routes and Wi-Fi related settings will be reset completely. All you have to do is clear the DNS with ipconfig slash flush DNS, which will clear all the cache stored in your DNS. The seventh way is to network reset altogether. Now, if all of the above didn't work, go to settings and then network and internet settings and then advanced network settings and then scroll down and then choose network reset. Make sure that you have your passwords and other data written down somewhere as this will reset all of them. This will also restart your PC, so check your Wi-Fi again after that. The eighth way is to run hardware troubleshooting. This is another way that most people don't really realize that you could actually use. So go to run by pressing Windows plus the R button and then type the command that you see on the screen, which will open the hardware troubleshooter and then click next and then it'll do its magic and solve the issue. Bonus tips. Make sure that your Wi-Fi button on the laptop is on as some people forget that they've turned it off by accident. Unplug your PC and then Wi-Fi adapter if it's an external one and then force restart your laptop with the power flash. Oh, and install the latest Wi-Fi drivers if you forget to do so. These should fix your Wi-Fi adapter or Wi-Fi network not available problems or issues. If you like this cutthroat, straightforward, to the point content like this, hit that subscribe button and like the video if you did. Ciao.